Hello friends, myself Pratik. In this session, we are going to discuss interactive programming in Python. Let us start this session. In order to understand the concept of interactive programming, let us consider this code. Here I have three lines of code which is used to calculate the area of circle. I am defining radius as a 3. I am calculating the area of circle by using pi r square formula. Then simply printing the value of area with this message. Let us execute this statement to see its output. So we got the area of circle as this. You can change the value of radius here and it will give you different result. Instead of assigning the value of radius like this, in interactive programming, we prompt the user to input the value of radius. Instead of assigning the value of radius in the code, I want that user should enter the value during runtime. In order to get the input from the user during runtime, you can use input function. The syntax is very simple. You can simply write input and in this input, you can type the message that you want to display at the prompt. Here I have used input function which will prompt the message enter the value of radius to the user and user will enter the value of radius during runtime. Let's execute this single line of statement and let's see its output. You can see that at runtime it is asking enter the value of radius and now I can type the value of radius here and based on that it will perform its calculation. Perfectly fine. Now let us run these three lines of code together. So here it is asking to enter the value of radius. Let's suppose the radius is 3. Then you can see that we are not getting the desired output. Uh, Python is saying it cannot multiply sequence by a non-int of type float. What this message mean? The reason of this error is that whenever we supply any value through input method, that value is considered as a string. It means that during runtime, if you, if you are writing 3, the input function is considering this as a string 3. So here, radius is actually storing 3 as a string, not as an integer. In order to cross check that, you can check the type of radius at this point. You know that we have a type function which is used to check the type of the variable. So here I am executing these two lines. First of all, it will generate a prompt to enter the value of radius and then this will display its type. Let's execute these two lines, enter the value of radius, let's suppose 3. And now you can see that the output is str. It means that here radius is str. You cannot multiply string with a float number. It should be integer or float it cannot be a string so here radius is of string type but we need to convert it into integer before performing any calculation over this so we need to convert this radius which is a string type into integer type i hope you remember how we can convert a variable of string type to integer type and for this we have an inbuilt function called as int. So let's use that function. Here I am using int function which will convert this radius to integer. At this point radius will be of int type. Then calculations can be performed and it can display the value of area of circle. Let's execute these statements. Enter the value of radius 3. Yeah, now this is working perfectly fine. So. In interactive programming, the important point to learn is that you can use input function for generating prompts, but always remember that that input function will take the input as a string. So you need to convert it into integer if you are performing some calculations based on that variable. If you want it as a string, then there is no problem. But if you want this as an integer or float, then you have to use conversion function in order to convert it to desirable type. Instead of using these two statements, you can perform the same task in a single statement. Please think how you can convert these two statements into a single statement. Yes, this is quite easy. Instead of writing int in second statement, you can do it like this way. Now this is not desirable. So in this case here, I am using nesting of function. First, it, it will run this input function and it will give you 3 as a string. 
then int will convert it into integer so finally you are getting radius in the int let's execute this this time i am entering the value as 5 we are getting the value of area of circle so perfectly fine let us consider this code and this is saying that there is a problem in this sequence of statement here i am using radius with input then i am calculating the value of area then i am printing this message but it's important to note that here i am using plus instead of comma so how we can fix this problem first let's consider first line is there any problem in first statement you are calculating the area in second step you are going to perform some calculations so you have to convert radius either into integer or float here i am using float this time so here the radius will be a float type and then you can perform any calculation let us execute these statements radius of circle 3.4 but still we are getting an error and it say that there is an error due to concatenation and this error occurred due to this print here you can see that instead of using comma we are using plus so plus is actually a concatenate operator which is used to concatenate two strings important to note that plus is a concatenate operator which is used to concatenate two strings so here you have a string because this is written in single quotes then on this side you are not having a string this is a float value you need to have string on the both side in order to concatenate it so you can't concatenate float with string by using plus sign so if you want to use concatenate operator there should be string on both side here we already have a string so i need to convert this area into string how you know how we can convert this area to string yes for this i have to use str function so let's use str function this str function will convert this area to string so here we have string no problem then we have plus which is a concatenate operator and on this side again we have string after this plus we have another string so it will concatenate this string with this string and then dot let us execute these statements now so we have fixed all the problem the value of the circle is let's suppose 3.4 and this is our answer here we have used concatenate operator in the print statement so it mean that in print you can use comma or plus if you are using comma then there is no need to worry about the data type of the variable you can use it directly but if you are using plus you should be careful because plus only works with strings so you have to convert this area into string so that it can display desirable output before completing this session let us consider these line of code here you can see that i am using interactive programming where i am using input which will prompt enter the first number then i am converting it to float so the first number will have a float value then i am prompting to enter second number then converting it into float value then performing multiplication which will be stored in result then i am displaying the message result of multiply first number and second number is this so here you can see that i am making an interactive message where i have used various strings with my variables so that the output should make a sense so let's execute these statements you can see enter the value of first number let's suppose this is 3.4 second number 3.5 so it's saying result of multiply 3.4 and 3.5 is this so this is working perfectly fine now the question is if instead of comma you have to use plus what changes you will do in your print statement so you can pause the video at this point to solve this question here i want to use plus instead of comma to generate this interactive output so this interactive output should be generated with the use of plus which is a concatenate operator instead of using comma so take your time to solve this problem once you solve this you can play this video to check its answer
so let's discuss the answer so here you have to use plus you know that when you use concatenate operator there should be string on both the side so i have to convert this into string so here first number is converted into string perfectly fine then this comma should be replaced with plus then you have and which is perfectly okay then again this comma should be replaced with plus so on this side of plus still i am having number so i need to convert it into string then comma is replaced with plus i have string okay then this comma is replaced with plus and here again you have a number which should be converted into string this way we are having string on the both side of plus let us execute these statements to check its output so it is prompting to enter the value of first number let's suppose it is 1.1 second number is 1.2 result of multiply is 1.32 very good but there is a problem you can see that there is no space between this uh, comma actually automatically introduce this space but plus is not adding any space so concatenate operator will not add space on its own you have to add it by changing your string so you want space after multiply so let's add little bit space here you want a space before and after and also so let's add that space before and after and and you also want space before and after is so let's execute these statements now to see that how the output will appear this time so first number is 2 second number is 3 you can see that result of multiply 2.0 and 3.0 is 6 perfectly fine so this is all about interactive programming and i hope that this give you a fair idea that we can use input function to get the input with the help of prompt but always remember the input will take the input in the form of string so you need to use int or float function in order to convert it into desirable type if you want input in the string form then it's perfectly fine then there is no need to use conversion function but otherwise you have to use it and another point which we learned in this video session is the difference between comma and plus in print we can use comma if you use comma you can directly use string with number but if you are using concatenate operator whose symbol is plus then you need to convert your numbers into string before using it in print statement so this is all about this session i request all of you to please subscribe this youtube channel to receive latest video tutorials on topic like machine learning data mining big data no sql dbms and so on i have authored books on data mining and data warehousing database management system no sql beginning with sql and pl sql for beginners all these books are available at amazon platform to read more on this you can refer my website pratikbatia.com thanks for watching this video